Welcome back to ASVAB Roadmap. Today's video is an introduction to algebra using variables. Let's get right into it. But first, before we get started, at the end of this video, don't forget to go to asvabdrill.com for practice tests and study guides. Let's get started. When you learn math in school, up until a certain point, it's just called math. Then, all of a sudden, one day, math class isn't just math anymore. It's now called algebra. Although it may seem scary to graduate from plain old math to algebra, it won't be so daunting once we realize that algebra uses symbols just like arithmetic does. And it is quite easy to make these symbols intuitive so that you can manipulate algebraic equations. Let's start out by discussing the algebraic essential, the unknown variable. First of all, what is a variable? In math, a variable is a letter or a symbol that represents a quantity that can change. This is different from a constant, which is a letter or symbol that represents a quantity that does not change. A variable can be just about anything. The inches of rain in your town in a particular month. The price of gasoline. The speed of a plane. Whatever it is that you want to do math with. In arithmetic, our equations simply contain numbers and arithmetic operations. An algebraic expression will always include one or more variables, as well as some numbers and operations. For example, 3x plus 2 is an algebraic expression. We can evaluate the expression for any value of x that we choose. We simply plug the value into the expression understanding that we can represent the multiplication of two numbers by simply placing them next to each other. We can make a table as we do this. When the value of x is 1, we replace the x with 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 equals 5. So when x is 1, this expression is equal to 5. When x is 2, we get 6 plus 2, or 8. When x is 3, we get 9 plus 2, or 11, and so on and so on. This is useful because we can use algebraic equations for real-world situations. Now, before we start learning more about algebraic equations, there's some more to learn about algebraic properties. So let's start with that inside of the next few videos. I'll see you there. And remember guys, smash that subscribe button and that like button if you want more videos like these.